It's called the Digital Metalizer. I like to think of it as the Power Balladeer. The first guitar that you heard in there was actually not using the digital metalizer. I just really wanted to show off this Gaia Tone Chorus Flanger double effect pedal because I thought it sounded really pretty and that would serve as a nice contrast for the lead part when that comes in. So here's that. <laughs> Then I used the MZ2 in Chorus 2 mode for that lead part. All right, so first off, what is this? It's a distortion pedal from 1987. So this is post heavy metal, but pre metal zone. And as a distortion pedal, it certainly got a thing going on. Let's dispense with the obvious, I am not a metal guitarist, but I'll be trying my best throughout this video. Now we can use this as a fairly simple distortion pedal by setting the mode knob down to SGL. That means single, and that's what you just heard. But the whole point of this pedal is to take that distortion and then add doubling and chorus effects on top of it, allowing guitarists to thicken up their sound. So here's the effect of the doubling modes. And then we've got two chorus modes, which take that delay and add a little bit of swirl into the mix. So here's a few notes with chorus off, then in setting one, and then in setting two. If we take a look at the waveforms for the clips we just heard, we can actually see the delay because in stereo mode, it splits the regular and delayed signals between the outputs. Put another way, in mono, the three modes are distortion, double distortion, and chorus distortion. And with both outputs, it's distortion, distortion plus slightly delayed distortion, and distortion plus vibrato distortion. It's also important to keep in mind that while we can use the distortion by itself in SGL mode, we can't turn the distortion off to use just the time-based effects. It's always there no matter how low we set this knob. <laughs>
Obviously, doubling and chorus are time-based effects, and this is something that would be pretty easy to pull off with a simple bucket brigade circuit, but this is not the analog metalizer. So we need this whole extra board in here because it's the late 80s and digital is a flex. Right around the same time as this guy, we also got the RV2 and the DC3. They have this double board design as well. As for the chorus effect in here, I really like what this does for power ballad lead kind of stuff, but where I think it's got some real hidden gem potential is with stoner rock drone kinds of stuff on the lower strings. <laughs> Manual mentions keyboards and bass, sure. I think the real MVP here, Squire Baritone Telecaster. <laughs> even sure if I'm using this thing right, but I'm having a whole lot of fun with it. And at some point, I want to do a video about pedals that work well with baritone. If it seems like I'm taking my time with that, please remind me to hurry up. Now, the pedal is called the Digital Metalizer. I also suggested at the top of the video the Power Balladeer. Another possibility may be the Metal Fattener, and that's just based on how many times Boss uses fat as an adjective in the manual here. Doubling makes a fat sound. Chorus makes fatter sounds. There's a fat distortion and then the fattest distortion. Oh yeah, that's fat. Something I want to touch on really briefly, when I'm recording clips of pedals for this channel, especially time-based effects, and especially for the clips in the middle of the video, I really try not to add extra delay and reverb on top of them, and that's so that you can hear exactly what the pedal's doing, even if I think it would sound better and I really want to add something else. But you can be sure that if I were to put this into use for real, there would definitely be one of these, and probably one of these right after it. I can also confirm that the digital metalizer is a whole lot of fun when you've got a bunch of guitar playing friends over and someone half jokingly starts strumming something from monster ballads. And then you come in to just fully commit to the bit. because every bad boy has his soft side. I was also about to say that this pedal has the unique distinction of being the first Boss Compact pedal with a made-up word in its name, Metalizer. But then I remembered that the OC2, the octave pedal, for a while was known as the Octaver, which Merriam-Webster does not recognize as a word. And that came out in 1982, so... almost? It does raise the question, though, as to why this is the MZ2. Although I guess they couldn't call it the DM2 since that was the delay pedal, but that makes the metal zone the MT2, which was always a little confusing to me. Whatever, I'm not ashamed to say that I mostly have this for the novelty factor. There are distortions that I like more, and for the doubling chorus stuff, I've kind of been spoiled by the eventide micro-pitch algorithms. That's, that's another effect I want to get around to covering at some point. Too many pedals, not enough time. Not the worst problem in the world, though. I'll catch you on the next one.